From the NBC10 Many Watchers Now, President Obama wants to raise taxes on the rich to cut taxes on the middle class. But that's not how it's been working in Rhode Island. From car taxes to property taxes, some say Rhode Island's middle class has been manhandled. Political reporter Bill Rapley is live in Providence with more on that. Bill? Progressive tax policy watchers are all about taking more money from the rich to support the lower economic strata. And they say House Speaker Nick Mattiello is doing just the opposite. Well, we brought their allegations to him to see what his response was. The president last night talked about taxing the rich to give tax cuts to the middle class. Local advocates say that's the opposite of what's been going on in Rhode Island, where the strategy has been to cut taxes uh, for wealthy individuals and businesses. And we've been trying that in Rhode Island over the past decade, and clearly it hasn't worked. House Speaker Nick Mattiello told us on 10 News Conference. There haven't been tax cuts to the rich. I'm not, I'm not sure when folks refer to that, I'm not sure what they're referring to. So if you can point to the tax cuts for the rich, I'll be happy to consider that. Sam Bell of the Progressive Democrat says that is just obviously wrong. We have had one of the largest tax cuts for the wealthy, if really of any state in the country. What we did in 2006 was not just a tax cut for the wealthy, but an abnormally, enormously large one. He's talking about a reduction in the top rate on personal income tax of nearly four points. But Mattiello said today it's still higher than in neighboring Connecticut. We have to be competitive with our neighbors. We cannot afford to lose our successful taxpayers to other states. Which brings us back to President Obama's policy wish and how that could actually help Rhode Island. President Obama is successful in raising federal taxes, particularly things like capital gains or the estate tax, across the board for the whole country, then individual states don't compete nearly as much. So Rhode Island doesn't have to worry quite as much about what Connecticut and Massachusetts are doing. And that's something Mattiello can get behind. A national tax policy would be very different than a Rhode Island tax policy. Now this year locally, Mattiello is only considering one tax cut. That would be for seniors taxing eliminating the tax on Social Security benefits, possibly on pensions as well. But we'll see where he tries to find the money to pay for that. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News, live at the Down City Studio.